Welcome to TJ's RC. Today we're going to be installing this Traxxas Link wireless module. This is the Bluetooth adapter module that goes inside your Link enabled Traxxas TQI controller. We're going to install this thing so that I can use my phone app to change settings on the receiver. So let's open this up and take a look. Move that out of the way. And this is what we're left with. So this tiny little piece is going to go right inside here. So it looks like this piece just clips in. Put the retaining screw back in place. There we go. We have the Bluetooth link installed into the controller. So the next thing you're going to need to do is download the Traxxas Link app. Then you're going to go to Garage. Traxxas Link Wireless Module. Click that and then it gives us some directions on where to go from here. It says one, turn on the transmitter. Two, press the link button on the back. Lights flashing. Three, press here to search. All right, and it immediately says connected. That was fast. Okay, so once we finish connecting and we come back to this screen, it looks like firmware updates must be performed in order to maintain optimal functionality with all the devices. So we're gonna hit proceed. It looks like there is an update to the TQI transmitter firmware as well as the receiver in the TRX4. Touch here to proceed with firmware update. Okay, proceed, begin update. So apparently this has the added benefit of keeping your receiver and your transmitter with the most up-to-date firmware. Once you've got everything connected between the transmitter, the receiver in the car, and the app, you'll see these green lights in the corner here on the app. That lets you know that the app is connected to the transmitter and that the transmitter is connected to the receiver. So now you can go ahead and use the app to make changes if you want to. Notice I went into vehicle model and I selected the Bronco. Since I'm not going to worry about any of the telemetry information, I'm not really going to cover that. One of the neat things about this app is this uh, training mode here. You can limit how fast the vehicle can go and it makes it easy to hand the vehicle to an inexperienced driver. Now in here, drive effects. And what this does is it allows you to pick which of these items you want the multifunction knob on the transmitter to control. So once you're in here, you can pick which of these items you want the multifunction knob to adjust on the fly while you are driving the truck. Um, cruise control, throttle trim, braking, steering, throttle sensitivity, steering sensitivity, TSM assistance. That is what Traxxas calls their, uh, their AVC, I think. So Traxxas stability management, uh, for some reason right now that is set to 100%, which really isn't that useful in a crawler. So we're just gonna put that back down to zero for now. The other area in here that we're gonna look at for my particular use is gonna be in here and under the garage tab. This is where you would make changes to say, channel setup, for instance, steering. If you wanted to adjust endpoints, the trim or you wanted to reverse the steering you can do that right from here much more efficient way of making changes versus the uh, holding the buttons down up here and working your way through the menu to adjust things you can also go on to the throttle channel set it reversed or normal you can adjust the trim model memory if i had a bunch of traxxas trucks and i wanted to use just the one controller i would set this that up in here but i only have the one traxxas vehicle model setup you know, if you had the other sensors installed, spur gear, pinion gear, drive ratio, all that stuff, tires, battery, and then it would calculate speed for you. So there's a lot of functionality in this app that we're not going to be making use of, but it is handy for the few things that we do want to use it for. Just a few minutes ago, you saw we did the updates. There was a firmware update for the radio itself and a firmware update for the receiver. I didn't even know that that was a thing that you could update firmware in these uh, controllers. So to have that happen was pretty cool. Preferences. So these are like preferences for the app itself. If you have any experience with the Traxxas app, let me know if you think it was useful or worthwhile. And if you don't, but you're interested in it, go ahead and check it out. You can play around with the app without having it connected to your truck. If you have experience with this or you're thinking about uh, checking it out now, let me know in the comments. This is TJ's RC. Bye for now.